Hi there, welcome to this video. This is actually part of a longer video which I have put a link to in the description. And in this video, we're actually just gonna be looking at one app specifically. If you wanna see all the apps, then check out my main video here and you'll be able to see me run through each and every one of them. Next up, we have Nice Catch. Now, apparently there's lots of people out there who get vibrations on their phone and they're not actually sure what's caused it. Now, I would suppose that's for people who have lots of friends and get lots of notifications. Luckily, I'm not one of those people, so I don't have that problem. But you can get a full sort of historic list of what apps have been vibrating your phone or ringing or sending you notifications. So these are the options you get here. Show a list of applications that made a vibration. Show a list of applications that changed the ringer mode. Show a list of applications that changed call mode. Histories of toast pop up. Show a list of applications that displayed ads after unlocking your phone. That's probably the most useful one for me actually. If you installed an app and you know a few days later you suddenly find that you're getting pop-up ads, that'd be quite useful. You can see what's woken up your phone. So again, if you've ever had an app which just keeps, you know, waking your phones to sway up, you can find out what it is. And show a list of changes of any settings. So here's our toast history currently. And you can quickly see exactly what's been vibrating your phone. So let's have a look and see if there's any been commercials. So we've got some from Gmail, we've got some from WhatsApp. So it's interesting to know that these are actually somewhere, you know, displaying commercials, whether it's in the background or whether it's just that they're connecting to a commercial service. It's interesting to know that that is happening in the background. So all these notification details, they stay around for seven days and you can then, you know, you've got, you've got enough time to actually find out what's causing your problem. So it is useful. I don't think I would probably use it much, but you might as well have it turned on just in case you need it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel and I will see you again in the next one.